Hey Ayaz Tech family, ever worried about creating a strong, secure password that's hard to crack? Today we are diving right into the solution. In this live coding session, we are teaming up with ChatGPT to design and code random password generator. If you have ever wondered about the logic and intricacies behind such a tool, stick around with ChatGPT by our side. We are about to demystify it all. Let's power up our coding engines and dive in. All right, let's start. So currently what you can see on my screen is the color picker that we earlier generated with the help of chat GPT. I have recorded that video and uploaded it on YouTube. So you can learn that as well by watching that video. So now <clears throat> let's open chat GPT and here I will ask some questions that write a professional or create a very professional and useful random password random and secure password generator professional modern and useful generator with the help of html CSS and JavaScript. Make sure that layout looks very modern and professional. So let's see how it will make things for us. Meanwhile, I will create a folder for this project uh, mk directory random pass gen cd. Oops. Okay, now I will open in my VS code. So first of all, we need index.html file. Okay, this is the HTML. Let's paste it here. And we need styles.css file. And let us copy paste the CSS code here now it is generating the script.js file meanwhile we will quickly review the html so here we have the main container h1 tag label input where you will be able to specify the length and here uh, include upper we have for the setting that if you want to include uppercase if you want to include symbols and once you are done you can click on this button it will generate the password it will call a function that will generate that password and there's a text area that will load that generated password okay the javascript has been generated now let's copy it and create a file script.js and paste it here all right it's time to test it so let's do that I'm using the live server extension of VS Code to run it. All right. It looks great so far. Not perfect. Uh, the, it can, the layout can be improved, but still let's test the uh, password generator. So for example, I want to include uppercase. I want to include numbers, symbols. So if you click on that, the password has been generated. Let's click on that several times. Every time it generates a random unique password that looks very secure. And if you don't want to include uppercase, you can uncheck that. And this time it will not include the uppercase. And if you don't want to include numbers, just uncheck that. It will not include any number in that. If you don't want to symbols, then it will not contain any symbol. You can also reduce the number of characters. For example, in this way, it will generate only four characters. So, okay, very nice. Looks very professional. So the main functionality is already done. Now uh, we will uh, just try to interact with ChatGPT a little bit further to help uh, to help uh, the to improve the styling. It's it is working great, but I need to improve the 
UI UI does not look good and does not look professional so make sure so improve it the UI to make it ready to be deployed to production to attract the users so let's see how it will behave with that prompt All right, is saying that I'm using darker shades of modern professional look and the color contrast is improved, making text elements more readable and attractive. The use of subtle shadows and transitions gives pleasing feedback to user interaction. Very nice. And ensure you have a link to Roboto font. So, OK, it has given us a link to add to change the font family. So let me copy paste this CSS. All right. And now i will copy this link tag and let's put it on the top here okay all right that this looks great and very professional excellent so let's just generate it again everything is still working perfect i really like it all right i i think we are done here but uh, one last thing that i want to do is that i want as always i want to add comments we want to properly document it so let's uh, request chat gpt to add comments please properly add comments to my code so let's see how it will do that it will generate every file once again with the proper comments in it next time i will tell it in advance that we need comments uh, so that we don't have to do it again okay html is done i'm going to copy it paste it here and this is the cs meanwhile i will we can review the html because now it is easy to review it so we have this we can read the comments input for setting password length checkboxes for password customization very nice button to trigger password generation text area to display generated password and link to the javascript functionality okay very nice all right so the css has been generated with the comments so let's replace our old css with the new one now it looks great it is saying that this is uh, the global styling using roboto font for modern appearance make sure that container takes up the full viewport height because with the help of vh styling the main container maximum width for wider screens it did a very good job header styling styling for labels and checkboxes styling the text area that displays the password button styling and so on very nice so let's see the javascript is also commented so let's replace okay now we can quickly take a look at the javascript code and review it what it has done for us define character sets for password generation so it has a character set object lower upper numbers and symbols so if it is lowercase then this is the I think this is the part that would be used in the regular expression. This is the uppercase numbers the, and uh, symbols. So function to generate the password. So this is a function that would be executed when you click on the button. 
and here we are fetching the desired length of the number from the input and now we are st start with the lowercase character set by default so by default it will consider the lowercase and add to the character set uh, add to the character set based on user preference so if user uh, want to have uppercase then we will uh, we will add the other uh, so it is basically concatenating uh, every string with each other one by one so by default this was there first and then it it has concatenated uh, this part of string and so on so once that is done it is it will generate the password by default the password is empty and now based on the length that you have provided mm -hmm. in this input uh, it will run a loop on that number and it will generate with the help of math dot random and password character set dot length so okay so we have uh, this function uh, math dot random multiplied by the length math dot floor so this will give us the random index and the password plus equal to the password character set random index okay very nice and interesting so this is how it has generated a very powerful and very useful unique random password generator so <clears throat> with that we have we are ending this video this is the new series that we just have started in this series we are doing the live sessions uh, with the raw video the live with the live coding session uh, we will be doing a lot of experiments with the help of chat gpt we will be generating the uh, small tools and small scripts or we will be exploring the possibilities of chat gpt uh, in the coding world so if you want to see uh, how i use chat gpt to make my life easier to increase my productivity and uh, uh, if you want to see what are the possible possibilities with the chat gpt then uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the bell icon to get notified for my next upcoming videos and also please like and share this video if you have any questions or any feedback then please leave them in the comments section i will try my best to reply all of your comments thanks for watching see you next time